I'm Dr. Amanda Dick. I joined Schneck Medical Center almost five years ago. Um, I came here in 2010 with my husband, Andrew Dick, who's an anesthesia doctor here. Colonoscopies are important um, for screening. What we're looking for on a, on a colonoscopy is to prevent a cancer from happening and also perhaps find a cancer at an earlier stage so it's much easier to treat. A lot of people are very nervous about having a colonoscopy done, especially if they've never had one before. They're not sure what to expect. Um, I usually tell people the prep is actually the worst part. Uh, you do have to be awake for that. We usually do preps the day before. There are several different types of preps and most doctors kind of pick the one that they think works best for them. Typically it's some liquid that you have to drink um, and occasionally that's combined with some laxative pills. Um, we do usually tell people to stay close to their toilets because you are going to be pooping a lot. That's kind of the goal of the prep. The cleaner your colon is, the easier it is for us to see um, all the features inside your colon, the easier it is for us to find those polyps and remove them. Um, but nonetheless, the prep isn't a lot of fun, but it's really not too bad. The day of your scope, um, you actually come into the hospital, you get an IV put in, you'll meet your doctor, you'll meet your anesthesia provider, um, and then you take a little nap and you wake up when we're done. So from that standpoint, the actual scope is not too bad. It usually takes about 20-30 minutes. Most people go home after about an hour. You're able to eat a normal dinner or lunch and then back to normal the next day. Ever since the 1980s, colon cancer rates in the United States have been going down and that's in a large part to, to increase screening um, efforts through um, either testing the stool for blood, um, sigmoidoscopies, colonoscopies, all of those uh, procedures that we have to find cancer um, or find polyps at an early stage, um, we know that we can actually stop that cancer process from happening. Um, so if we can find a polyp when it's small and we can remove it, um, then your risk of getting cancer goes down. And also if we can find cancers when they're very small, they're much easier to treat and your likelihood of surviving um, a colon cancer is much higher.